Credit Guarantee Scheme for Startups. This scheme was notified by Government of India through Department of Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade or DPIIT Ministry of Commerce in October 2022. As per the notification, the scheme provides guarantee coverage to member lending institutions for the funding provided by them to startups. Let's discuss the important features of the scheme. But before that, let's see what is the definition of a startup. As per definition, we can call an entity which satisfies the following conditions as a startup. First one is the age of the company or firm. For a company or firm to be recognized as a startup, its date of incorporation should not exceed 10 years. Secondly, it should have been incorporated as a private limited company, registered partnership firm or a limited liability partnership or LLP. Then, the annual turnover of the company should not exceed rupees 100 crore for any of the financial, uh, financial years since its incorporation. Apart from that, the company or firm should have been formed originally by the promoters and should not have been formed by splitting or reconstructing an uh, existing business. And most importantly, it should have a plan for development or improvement of a product, process or service and have a scalable business model with a high potential for wealth generation and employment. So, these are the features of a startup company. Startups are in fact centers of innovation which generates more jobs, career opportunities and more employment. They contribute highly to the economy. This is the importance of startups because of which the government is duty bound to provide adequate support to their growth and development. Now let's see the details of the credit guarantee scheme for startups. To begin with, who is the eligible borrower under the scheme? An entity to borrow under the credit guarantee scheme for startups shall be startups that have reached the stage of stable revenue stream. And how the achievement of stable revenue stream is determined? The stable revenue stream is assessed from audited monthly statements of the firm over a 12 month period. In addition to that, such startups should be amenable to debt financing and should not be in default to any lending or investing institution and also not classified as a non-performing asset. Now, who are the eligible lending or investing institutions? The eligible lending institutions are all the scheduled commercial banks and financial institutions. Then, RBI registered NBFCs with a rating of triple B and above and having minimum net worth of rupees 100 crore and also SIBI registered alternative investment funds or AFs. So, these are the eligible lending institutions for credit guarantees cover scheme for startups. Now let's see what are the types of guarantee covers available or provided under the scheme. There are two types of guarantee covers available under the scheme. They are transaction based guarantee cover and umbrella based guarantee cover. The difference is transaction based guarantee cover is on single eligible borrower basis whereas Umbrella based guarantee cover is obtained by the lending institution for a group of eligible borrowers. AFs or alternative investment funds shall not be eligible to avail transaction based guarantee cover under the scheme and they can only avail umbrella based guarantee cover. Now what is the guarantee fee under the scheme? For transaction based guarantee cover, member institution shall pay annual guarantee fee or AGF at the rate of 2% per annum of the disbursement or outstanding amount. In the case of working capital facilities or non-fund based facilities, this fee will be charged on the sanctioned amount. But the AGF will be 1.5% per annum only in the case of units from northeast region and also for women entrepreneurs. Similarly, for umbrella based guarantee cover, member institutions shall pay guarantee fee in the form of annual commitment charge or ACC of 0.15% per annum. 
this is charged on the proposed pooled investment in startups and it should be paid up front to the trust also the guarantee cover as per the scheme the maximum guarantee cover per borrower shall not exceed rupees 10 crore there is a condition here that the credit facility covered should not have been covered under any other guarantee scheme in case a portion of the credit facility is already secured by way of partial collateral security the remaining part of the loan which is unsecured can also be covered under the guarantee scheme in such cases the guarantee will be limited to the outstanding loan amount less the value of collateral security accepted by the member institution at the time of sanction of the facilities extent of guarantee for transaction based guarantee the coverage will be to the extent of 80% of the amount in default if the original sanctioned loan amount is up to rupees 3 crore similarly if the original loan amount is above 3 crore and up to rupees 5 crore the extent of the guarantee will be 75% of the loan amount also the coverage will be 65% of the amount in default if the original sanctioned loan amount is above rupees 5 crore for umbrella based guarantee cover the trust shall be providing cover up to the actual losses or up to a maximum of 5% of the pooled investment for which cover is taken or maximum rupees 10 crore whichever is the least so these are the important features of the credit guarantee scheme for startups launched by government of india in october 2022